All the attention in financial services this year has been for the newest children in the block, cryptocurrencies. With Bitcoin now eclipsing $15,000 and Coinbase adding more than 300,000 users in just a week, it's easy to see why. While the cryptocurrencies stole the spotlight, a group of companies quietly worked behind the scenes to slowly put the financial services establishment on its knees. It may turn out that these new participants in recent years turn out to be the most relevant disruptors. Earlier this year, the Funtechs reached a massive milestone, one that very few people noticed, but that certainly should keep senior executives at banks, credit card companies and other institutions at night. In June of 2017, for the first time in history, the 10 best U.S. fintechs listed on the stock market exceeded $100 billion in total market capitalization. Now that number exceeds $130 billion, and there are another dozen private fintechs in the United States that collectively are valued at almost $35 billion. Together, this is almost $175 billion worth that did not exist 20 years ago. Other recent artifacts that should undoubtedly be disturbing for existing financial institutions include, the PayPal market limit exceeding that of Amex and Robinhood quickly approaching E-Trade in terms of the total number of open accounts, in just three years.